What advice do you have for families who are struggling with this issue? You're not alone. One in four of us, deeply complex, flawed creatures, one in four of us has been touched in some way by mental illness. So you're not alone. You might feel it, but you're not. So reach out to whatever organization, go online, um, talk to somebody in your community. This community is incredibly impressive because I really get a sense here that you care about your own and not only or care about it, but you're making yourself aware of what's going on and then trying to do something about it. You know, that to me is how every community should be. I mean, it's incredibly inspiring for me to be here and to hear those kids. And just talked to her on the way over here, my sister Jessie, who wrote this book, who, who lives with bipolar disorder. She, in her book, it's, it's rather brutal in some way. She's incredibly honest. Um, she was finally correctly diagnosed when she was 50. So a lot of wreckage uh, followed her up to that point. And it, it kills me to think that in our family, with my dad who was a brilliant doctor, we had no vocabulary for mental illness. And it wasn't until she came up to me, actually at my parents' house, um, and said, I, I need your help, I can't stop thinking about killing myself. That was the beginning of um, us uh, getting educated and learning what it's like to support somebody who is dealing with uh, something like bipolar disorder. And her son is, is uh, diagnosed with schizophrenia. It's such a wonderful feeling, first of all, to know that you can talk openly about it, and it's okay. And it's all about what do you need, how are you, um, uh, as you learn from your family member what their challenges are. So I really want to try to apply how mental health affects other people, because I know a lot of my friends who also have mental health issues, so I kind of want to be there for them, kind of the way she was there for her sister. So this is really a great experience for me, and this is my first time, but like it's really something I'm going to really remember, and you know, it's really important too. I felt like, you know, she was someone that I could be friends with, or and you know, she related to us, and um, I think that was really appreciated by the audience. It makes an, being an audience member um, so much more engaging when you feel like you can relate to the person you're listening to. There's just this, you know, stigma around how high school is supposed to be and if you're different or if you have a mental illness, some people don't like to speak out about it because they don't want to think, be thought of as different and so talking to students about it is definitely a good thing to do to enlighten them and to let them know it's okay to be who you are and deal with what you're going through. I didn't know about her early life and her sister and now I'm fascinated to read her book, sister's books. 